predicting Manchester United's starting eleven is becoming a little bit more simple these days because we hardly have any players available. Manchester United are going to head to this Celta Vigo game on Thursday with a very depleted squad. There's still enough quality in there to win the game, but it's going to be up to certain players who aren't 100% fit to really excel and try and put in a strong performance against the Celta Vigo team who have only lost once at home in the Europa League this season. Who will Jose Mourinho play? Here is my predicted 11 for the game. In goal, Sergio Romero will definitely keep his place. I think he'll play the whole way to the final if we get there, and fingers crossed that we do. Now, back four, I've gone for Darmian, Bay, Blind and Young. I think Darmian's going to play right back. I think Antonio Valencia will be rested for this game. It's clear that fatigue has started to kick into him in the last couple of appearances. Uh, and it depends whether you see this game or the Arsenal game on Sunday is more important. If I'm Jose Mourinho, maybe I would say this game is more important. So Valencia would play here instead of Sunday. But let me know who you would rather play there. And as a centre-back partnership, I've gone for Blind and Bay. Now, Bay went off injured against Swansea, but I, I just get the feeling he's going to put himself in the line for this game. I really, really do. I think if he doesn't play, who's going to play there? Carrick as a centre-back, Twan Zebe in a Europa League away game semi-final. That's not going to happen, surely. Maybe Phil Jones and maybe Chris Smalling, one of them's going to come back in. But I'm predicting that Bay is going to play here. Don't think he'll be 100% fit, but as long as we can try and control the game and keep it away from him as much as possible, hopefully that won't be too much of an issue. And I'm going to play Ashley Young at left back. Luke Shaw going off with ligament damage. Daley Blinds playing in centre back. Do we have any other potential left backs? Not really. Ashley Young will do a job there. Hopefully he'll be defensively sound. As I said, because Celta Vigo will be dangerous going forward. Now in the midfield, I've gone for Herrera, Pogba and Fellaini. Fellaini is banned for domestic games, the next three games. So he's going to play in both of these Europa League games. And Pogba is going to be fit to start. Mourinho has already said this. Fit to play maybe, maybe not fit to start, but I'm hoping he's fit to start and we need him back. We've desperately missed Pogba in the last couple of games, haven't we? And Ander Herrera with them. An uncharacteristically quiet game from Herrera against Swansea, but I've got every belief that going back to Spain, his native Spain, he'll put in a barnstorming performance and we need it because we need to control this midfield and control the game. Now up front, I've gone for a midfield three of Lingard, Rashford and Mkhitaryan. I think that's... I'm, I'm quite happy with that, especially Mkhitaryan. His best form this year has definitely come in the Europa League. If he scores in this one, I think it'll be his fifth consecutive Europa League game that he has scored in. So odds are he's going to be on the score sheet. Fingers crossed he is. And we've also got Lingard and Rashford there. So if we are going to sit deep like we sometimes do or should do in European away games, we've got the pace to break there. But I don't know, honestly don't know how Man United are going to play in this game. With all these injuries, all these games coming up, the Swansea game for me was a real spanner in the works. I didn't expect to see another performance like that this season. So heading into this match on Thursday, United have got some questions to answer. And it's Europa League semi-final. Our first European semi-final since 2011, I think. It may be the Mickey Mouse of European competitions, but three wins and Man United have got Champions League next year. We've got to try and do it in this game. Let me know what your predicted 11 is for the game. As always, drop a like on the video, ladies and gents. Subscribe to United People's TV. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.